Now that we've created a Python program, a very simple one, let's go ahead and analyze it so that we can learn a few more basic yet important programming terms and concepts. So what we are looking at here in the code editor is our program's source code. To give a very simple definition, source code refers to the collection of all the instructions that make up a computer program. A program's source code is written by a programmer in a specific programming language. In this case, we are using Python. In this very simple program, the source code contains just one line. This line can be referred to as a statement. To be more specific, it is a simple statement. In Python, a simple statement is an instruction that is contained within a single logical line. The simple statement that we have here contains an instruction to print the phrase hello world using the print command. In Python, the print command tells the computer to output the value that is written inside the parentheses. It will not send the value to a paper printing machine, rather it will display it on the screen. So now let's go down to the next line and let's add another statement that contains another print instruction. Let's say print how are you today. So our source code now has two lines, with each line containing a simple statement. As we progress through the course, our programs will contain more and more statements and will gradually increase in complexity. So let's go ahead and save these changes. And then let's run the program. And now here in the output, we see hello world, followed by how are you today in the next line, displayed here in the shell. This shows us that the lines of code in our simple program are executed in sequence starting from the top. In programming, a more technical term for this type of command that has a name and parentheses is the term function. So instead of calling this the print command, you can also refer to this as the print function. When you use the print function, another term for this is a function call. We are calling the print function so that it will do whatever it's supposed to do. You'll also hear it referred to as executing a function or running a function. Throughout the course, we will be making use of the print function very often. When we write the sample programs for all the different lessons that we will be having, we will need a quick and simple way to display the output of those programs. And we can do that using the print function. So to end this segment, here is a summary of the important points that were discussed. Source code refers to the collection of statements that make up a computer program. A simple statement is an instruction that is contained in a single logical line. And finally, the print function can be used to output a value to be displayed on the screen.